Let's solve one previous question of mathematical logic. This question was asked in GATE CS 2014 set 1 question number 53. Which one of the following propositional logic formulas is true when exactly two of P, Q and R are true? And four options are given. Exactly two of P, Q and R are true means either P, Q will be true, R will be false or P, R are true, Q is false or P is false, Q are true. We'll just check for these three possibility. And for which logic formula the truth value will be true, that will be answer. Now let's check one by one option, option A. So when P true, Q true, P double implication Q will be true. Then true and R, R is false, so true and false, it will be false. Or P and Q, is true true and true is true and negation of r negation of r r is false so negation of r will be true it will be true so false or true it's true so p double implication q true double implication false it will be false false and r is true so false and true it will be false or p and q true and false and false it will be false so false or false it will be false next when q and r are true now p double implication q false double implication true it will be false when both truth value are same it will be true like for true true it will be true for false false it will be true for true false or false true it will be false now false and r is true or p p is false false and true and false it will be false so false and true it's false false or false it's false it's not true now check option b negation of p double implication q and r or p and q and negation of r so first P double implication Q true and true it's true true negation it's false false and R R is false so false and false it's false or P and Q P and Q is true and negation of R R is false negation of R is true so it's true false or true it will be true next second one true double implication false it's false false negation is true true and r is true it's true then or p and q it's false false and negation of r is false anyway if one is false then this whole will be false so true or false it's true in case of or false or false will be false rest it will be true in case of and true and true will be true rest it will be false now when q and r are true so p double implication q it will be false double implication true it's false negation of false it's true true and r r is true so true and r it's true or then P and Q and negation of R it's false P is false so this whole is false now true or false it will be true so for option B we got all truth value as true so answer will be option B now let's check option C P implies Q and R whole or P and Q and negation of R now true implies true it will be true and r is false true and false or then p and q true and true will be true and negation of r negation of r false negation will be true so it's true true and false it's false or true it will be true now true implies false it will be false false and true or p and q true and false it will be false and negation of r it's false so false and true 
it's false false or false it will be false now false implies true it's true true and true it will be true or then false and true and false it will be false so true or false it will be true so we got true false true next check option d negation of p double implication q and r and p and q and negation of r so here true double implication true it will be true true negation will be false false and false and then p and q and negation of r so true and true and negation of false it's true so false and false it's false false and true it's false next true double implication false it's false false negation will be true true and r r is true so true and true and then true and false and false it will be false so true and true it is true true and false whole total will be false next here false double implication true it will be false now false negation it will be true true and true r is true and here this term will be false as one is false so true and false it's false for option d we got all truth value as false so here answer will be option b negation of p double implication q and r or p and q and negation of r just we need to check three possibility where from p q r just two value are true i already discussed propositional logic just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you